a tremendous outpouring tonight as friends and family remember a local rapper and a fisherman who was gunned down early this morning. We continue to follow developing news this morning. A 37-year-old man is dead shot uh, while fishing. Jose Jesus Mendoza. Jose Jesus Mendoza, who also went by the rap name Flatline. Jose Mendoza. He was shot to death early this morning while fishing at the Causeway Pier near the JFK Causeway. Family, friends, loved ones gathered tonight to remember Mendoza. It was at the place where Mendoza loved to fish, the place where he lost his life. He was fatally shot at a bait and tackle shop off the JFK Causeway Bridge, a shot multiple times in the chest. The paramedics attempted CPR on the scene but were not able to revive him. A 29-year-old man turned himself in to police for the shooting. The alleged shooter that shot the 37-year-old victim has turned himself in a 29-year-old male. 37-year-old Jose Mendoza. Tragedy struck early this morning here at the Causeway Fishing Pier. Mendoza had just finished fishing with friends. He was shot several times. Officers tried CPR, but it was too late. Mendoza did not survive. One of his sons, a 10-year-old, had autism. They are seen together in this video he made. He spent the last several years of his life trying to help the battle against autism. Did a lot of benefits, did a lot of walks for autism, did concerts.
Former Judge Guy Williams is once again in trouble with the law. Guy Williams is in trouble with the law once again. And he was arrested just last night for public intoxication and resisting arrest. Earlier this year, Williams was found not guilty of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Public intoxication and resisting arrest. More trouble for embattled district judge Guy Williams. Already under indictment for an alleged road rage incident, now faces sexual harassment allegations. And the women accused Judge Williams of touching them inappropriately. Accused Judge Williams of rubbing his arm on her breast. This account was corroborated by a witness. The second happened later that night at an after-hours function. Williams put his hand on her side underneath her breast before sliding down her waist. On April 28th, the woman told police that a man tried to run her car off the road near airline and SPID. According to a police report, the man pulled a gun, then drove off. The woman got the plate number, which belonged to a car that uh, Judge Guy Williams owns. The case being dismissed initially was strange to me. Normally when you have a murder case and you have a dead body, that they just don't dismiss cases like that. Because if he has to raise, it looks like he's raising the self-defense issue on this case. And if he raises self-defense, that's something normally that either a jury wants to hear. Uh, but to dismiss the case just based on, from I guess I don't know the reason why they dismissed the case. It just seems like it was a little bit premature to dismiss a case when you have such a serious offense like murder. The grand jury actually indicted him at one point and then turned around and the DA or the prosecutor dismissed this, this case. So in going through his criminal history, based on what I can see from the Nueces County records, is that he had a number of uh, assaults, and these assaults were all dismissed because, at least according to the records, like I said, were dismissed because uh, the complaining witnesses did not show up to court. Uh, especially for a situation like this, where I thought, wow, this is, this is interesting, that the case would get dismissed without having to actually explain yourself. Where did the gun come from, right? Those are all questions that, that you know I think the public would want to know. I don't know if this case was dismissed with prejudice or if it was just regular old dismissed, right? Which means that they have an opportunity to reopen this case if they choose to. There, there is a thing called provoking the difficulty. And what provoking the difficulty means is that you cannot show up to someone's house or to a situation armed and end up getting into a fight or a confrontation of some sort and then turning around and then claiming self-defense. So if, if there are facts in this case that were to show uh, that the defendant showed up to this fishing pier or wherever uh, Jose was with the intentions of confronting him for whatever reason, uh, being armed, then under the law, 
he would be precluded from bringing up the self-defense statue altogether. You know, the example is if you've got a neighbor that's violent, he's got your lawnmower, right? And you take a gun over there and you're like, hey man, I need my lawnmower back. And the guy's like, I'm not gonna give it back to you. And he punches you in the face. You cannot pull out your gun and shoot him and claim self-defense because you took the gun to the argument, you understand?